In this question, we're asked to find each of the following, simplifying your answer wherever possible. So starting with part i, integrating e to 5 over 6x with respect to x. So since this is a standard function with a linear function embedded inside, what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by the derivative of the inside function. So I'm going to divide the coefficient 1 by 5 over 6, and then I'm going to integrate the outside function and e to the 5 over 6 x integrates to e to the 5 over 6 x. Just going to tidy this up so that I get 6 over 5 e to the 5 over 6 x. And then just remember my constant of integration once I've finished. OK, so part 2. Before I attempt to integrate this, I'm going to rewrite it so that I have in index form rather than with a root in it. So I'm going to have 8x plus 1 to the power of a third integrated with respect to x. So again, I've got a function within a side a function. This is a standard function. So I'm going to first divide by the derivative of the inside function, which is 1 over 8. I'm then going to integrate that outside function. So I'm going to get 8x plus 1. Integrate the power. So I'm going to raise the power by 1. So it becomes 4 over 3, because I've added the denominator to the numerator. And then I'm going to divide by this new power. So I'm going to divide by 4 over 3. Again, let's just tidy this up before I give my final answer. So I'm going to flip the fraction upside down and multiply by it. So I'm going to get 3 on the top and then 4 times 8 on the bottom, which is over 30. So 32. So I get 3 over 32 times 8x plus 1 to the power of 4 thirds. Uh, and then plus my constant of integration. And then let's have a look at part three. So I'm going to be integrating sine one minus x over three dx. So first of all, I'm going to divide by the derivative of the inside function again, because this is a sine with a linear function inside it. So I'm going to divide by minus a third. So I'm going to get 1 divided by minus a third. And then I'm going to integrate the outside function. So when I integrate sine, it goes to minus cos 1 minus x over 3. So leave that inside function alone. So then just tidying up, the two negatives are going to cancel. So I'm going to have a positive. 1 divided by a third is 3. So I get 3 cos 1 minus x over 3 and then plus the constant of integration. OK, so let's have a look at part B of the question. Part B says, given that a is greater than 2 and that the integral between 2 to a of 1 over 4x minus 1 dx is equal to 0.284, find the value of the constant a and give our answer correct to one decimal place. So we have an equation here to solve. I'm going to integrate from 2 to a, 1 over 4x minus 1 integrated with respect to x equal to 0.284. So, and first of all, I'm going to integrate the left-hand side. So integrating the left-hand side, this is going to be natural log because I have a function to the power of 1. So this is, and first of all, I'm going to divide by the derivative of that inside function. So I'm going to divide by 4, so I get a quarter. Natural log for x minus 1 evaluated between 2 and a, that is going to be equal to 0.284. Now I'm going to substitute my bounds into this. I'm going to take the quarter out as a common factor. And so inside my square brackets, I'm going to have log of 4 times a minus 1 minus log of 4 times 2 minus 1 equal to 0.284. If I multiply both sides by 4 to get rid of the quarter, and so then I'm going to just use laws of logs to simplify the left-hand side. So I get log of 4a, and since it's a subtraction, that means we're going to divide that by 4 times 2 is 8 minus 1, so we get 4a minus 1 over 7. This is equal to 4 times 0.284, which is 1.1. 3, 6.
if I raise each side to the power e, uh, sorry, if I raise e to the power of each side, what I get left with on the left hand side is 4a minus 1. I don't know why I put plus there. Uh, so let's try, let's try that again. 4a minus 1 over 7 equals e to the 1.136. So I'm going to times both sides by 7. So I get 4a minus 1 equals 7e to the 1.136. I'm going to add 1 to both sides so that I get 4a is equal to 7e to the 1.136 plus 1. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 4 so that I get a equals 1 quarter 7e so 1.136 plus 1. Now the answer question asks us to give an answer correct to one point one decimal place. So if I evaluate that on my calculator, I get an answer of 5.7 to 1 decimal place. Okay then, so let's have a look, see how the marks are awarded in this question. First of all, there is a method mark if you've integrated the e to the 5 over 6 to e to the 5 over 6, and then there's an answer mark if you've correctly got that the coefficient is 6 over 5. Uh, let's just correct that so that it's an answer mark, not a method mark. Okay, part 2. There is a method mark if you've correctly integrated the outside function. So we've got 8x plus 1 to the power of 4 thirds over 4 thirds. And then there is an answer mark if you've correctly got and tidy that up to get the correct coefficient of that expression. Part 3 marks very, very similarly. So if you've managed to integrate and get cos sine 1 minus x over 3, that sine function integrates to be cos 1 minus x over 3, you get a method mark. And then finally, you get the answer mark if you've got the correct coefficient, that it's three uh, positive 3 times that. OK, then, so let's look at part B. Part B, there is a method mark initially if you have integrated to get uh, the 1 over 4x minus 1. So you've got log 4x minus 1. And there's an answer mark if you've got the correct coefficient, 1 quarter. There is then a method mark if you have tried to substitute in the bounds into this equation to set up some sort of equation to solve. There is an answer mark if you get to the stage where you've taken exponentials and so you've got 4a minus 1 over 7 is equal to e to the power of 1.136 and finally the last mark is given if you get to solve that equation and rearrange to get to the value that a is 5.7 to one decimal place. Okay well I hope you understood my solution and that you was able to follow how to mark the question.